What's up guys, Saf here on Super Saf TV and we've got a very special unboxing today. This package just came a couple of hours ago and it's from Samsung. I'm really excited to see what's inside and I'm sure you're really excited to see what's inside. But let's get straight to it. So it's a plain glossy black box with a black ribbon. All right, ready for it? Let's do this. All right. So as you can see from this little leaflet in here, it is of course the Samsung Galaxy Tab S4. Now this was just announced a few days ago and I believe this is one of the first unboxings of the Tab S4 on YouTube. So a thumbs up for that would be appreciated. Introducing the Samsung Galaxy Tab S4, built for all day productivity on the go, optimized entertainment and a smart life at home. Very nicely packed I have to say. And here it is, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S4. You can see here on the side, it says S Pen, Super AMOLED, 64 GB, which is the base storage. And this version has LTE. There is also a Wi-Fi only version available. Quick few details here at the back, which you can pause and read. But of course, we'll be going over all of these in detail as we unbox the device. All right, let's do this. Feels very good. We'll put that to the side and just see what else we get inside the box. So most of the stuff inside the box is pretty straightforward. We've got some paperwork. We've got a USB type A to USB type C cable, an adapter which does support fast charging, and you can charge this thing fully in around 3.5 hours, which is impressive considering the size of the battery on the Tab S4, which is around 7,300 mAh, and good for up to 16 hours of video playback. And finally, we have the S Pen. Now, the S Pen is included here. I know other tablets do not include a pen and it's pretty cool. We've got a button here and it feels really nice and light in the hand. And you do also get a tool to replace the tip of the S Pen and you've got some spare tips as well. Right, so let's get this out of the sleeve. So we've got a metal frame with glass panels on the front and back, similar to what we had on the Tab S3. And I've already got lots of fingerprints on it. And at the front, we have what is the standout feature and that is this massive 10.5 inch super AMOLED display. It's got a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, a 2560 by 1600 pixel resolution. So that's roughly about 287 PPI, very comparable to the iPad Pro. And you'll also notice that the bezels have shrunk massively compared to what we had last year. I know a lot of people want to go completely infinity, but that doesn't really make sense on a tablet. This is something that I always talk about uh, because with a tablet, you actually need somewhere to hold on to because of the size of it. And I would say that this is the perfect balance in terms of screen to body ratio for a tablet. Just quickly bringing in the Samsung Galaxy Tab S3 here for a comparison. Uh, you can see that the top and bottom bezels are much smaller here on the Tab S4. We have a bigger display, 10.5 inches versus 9.7 inches. Although the tablet overall doesn't seem too much larger compared to the Tab S3. Now, those smaller bezels do mean that we no longer have a home button, and that's because we now have an iris scanner as well as facial recognition, which is what you're gonna be using to unlock this device rather than a fingerprint scanner. Now, of course, because this is a high resolution, super AMOLED display, colors are vibrant, details are sharp, viewing angles are great, and I don't think anybody is gonna have any complaints with the display of the Tab S4. We've got an eight megapixel camera at the front and a 13 megapixel camera at the back capable of recording 4K video. Although I personally never use the rear facing camera on a tablet, uh, but the front facing camera is definitely useful for conference calling and things like that. Now let's talk about the internals. This has the Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 processor, not the 845 and four gigabytes of RAM. Now, because of the multitasking abilities of this tablet, I personally was expecting more. The 845 would have been great on six or even maybe eight gigabytes of RAM, which we are seeing on many smartphones these days too. But uh, I've just unboxed this, so I can't really comment too much on the performance. Of course, that's something that we'll have to look at at a later stage and really see how this handles multitasking. Storage wise, you've got a base of 64 gigabytes, but you can get a 256 gigabyte version as well at a higher price. But you do have a micro SD card slot, which is gonna allow you to expand this by up to 400 gigabytes. Now taking a look around on the right hand side, we've got the power button as well as volume rocker and the SIM card tray, which also has space for the micro SD card. On the left hand side, you do have some connectors which can be used for accessories and docks. At the bottom is a USB type C input. We've got a 3.5 meter headphone jack. And then we've got two speakers at the bottom and we've got two speakers at the top. 
Now, these speakers are tuned by AKG and do support Dolby Atmos and sound pretty good. Right now, what separates this tablet from lots of the other tablets out there is a unique feature here, and that is Samsung DeX on a tablet. This is the first time we've had Samsung DeX on a tablet. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, Samsung DeX allows you to use your device in desktop mode, and this will give you things like a taskbar, multi-window, as well as familiar gestures such as drag and drop. Now, traditionally with the Samsung Galaxy devices, you'd have to have a dock, which you'd have to put it on, and then connect it to an external monitor. With the Tab S4, you do not need to connect it to an external monitor in order to be able to use DeX. So let's go ahead and test this out. We'll go in landscape mode. Now, if we pull down in the quick toggles, we do have a Samsung DeX option. And when we press that, we are now in DeX mode. Use Samsung DeX even without a mouse and keyboard. Ideally, the best experience will be with a mouse and keyboard, but if you don't wanna do that, you can use this independently. Do more with your S Pen. Use your S Pen to write or draw in your favorite apps. And you can also use it like a mouse to select things or drag them around the screen. And here we are on Samsung DeX, which is really cool. So we've got uh, all of the controls here at the bottom. And if I open a few apps here, you'll see that we now have windows which we can drag around. Now, as mentioned, this is gonna work best with a mouse and keyboard if you wanna use it in this desktop mode. And there is a keyboard dock which is sold separately. I think it's around about 120 pounds or $150. Now you can still connect this to an external display using an adapter which is not included. So you'd have to buy that separately. That's HDMI to USB type C multiport. And that will basically allow you to extend your display onto a larger screen, but also use the Tab S4 as a trackpad or a sketch pad. This makes things really interesting because if you are a business user and you're gonna be traveling a lot and you want that desktop experience, you're gonna be able to get that in the tablet form. But if you do wanna connect on to an external display, you'll have the option to do that without having to carry around a massive dock. Switching off DeX mode is simply a case of just tapping the icon and then you'll be back to your normal Android experience. And this does come with Android 8.1 Oreo out of the box. Now this S Pen works great as usual very, very responsive and very fast and accurate. But unfortunately, my handwriting isn't as accurate as the S Pen. But anyway, this S Pen does not have Bluetooth like the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 is rumored to have. So you're only gonna be able to use it as you have been doing traditionally. You're not gonna have the advanced Bluetooth features that the Note 9 is rumored to have. The Tab S4 also comes with Bixby. So you've got Bixby Voice, Bixby Vision, and it's also gonna be integrated with all other smart things with Samsung. So you're gonna be able to control your home appliances and things. However, there is no dedicated Bixby button, which I know a lot of you guys will be pleased about. Now, finally, looking at the price, uh, this is gonna be starting at 600 pounds here in the UK. That's for the 64 gigabyte base Wi-Fi model or $649 in the US. And for the 4G LTE model, prices will be starting at around 650 pounds in the UK. Now that is pretty comparable to something like the iPad Pro. And with the iPad Pro, you do not get the pen included. You do have to buy that separately. With this, you do get it included. So that does make it quite competitive. So there you have it guys. That is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S4. What do you guys think of it? Definitely drop me a comment below and let me know your thoughts. Uh, I think it's a very interesting tablet. Uh, traditionally, I don't use tablets much, but because of the DeX functionality, and if I do get the dock, then I can kind of see myself using this, especially when I'm traveling. But of course, I'll let you know how I get on as I use this thing more. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then please do hit that thumbs up button for me. And if you haven't already, then be sure to subscribe and switch on notifications. We've got lots more content coming up on here. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on SuperSaf TV. I'll see you next time.